Hey guys, welcome to Sam Co. Workshop. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today, we're going to do something here. I'd probably do a few more of these too. So, uh, and I'm doing all three, so I'm not picking on just one company. But 2024, what we know about those trucks coming out, the mid-size trucks, which is my favorite category, um, dumb stuff. Okay, dumb stuff that they do. It's just straight up stupid. For example, the 2024 Ranger that we have coming out, the XLT, Ford's most popular model. Okay, the Ranger only comes in an XL. An XLT and a Lariat. The XL is the work truck version. The guys from Napa and all that kind of stuff run around in. The, uh, um, you know, and then the XLT is your decently loaded cloth seats, but got all the amenities you want, all good to go. And then the Lariat is like their top of the line version with the leather seats and stuff like that. In the XLT model, you don't have a push button start. You have to actually have a key. You have to take your key out of your pocket click to unlock the door and then you have to get in you have to push the button and the key switch blades out put it in the ignition start the car have all your keys and everything hanging down here while you drive when you're done pull the key out get out of the car click to lock it and then put your key back it's the dumbest thing then on top of that they do give you wireless car phone or cell phone charging just set your phone on there and it'll charge who cares I'd rather plug a cord into my phone and let it charge that way than have to always use a key. My wife has now got to, when she gets to the car in a dark parking lot, she has to walk up to the car, open her purse and dig in there and get her attention to get her keys, click to click it, go in, then she's got to put that key in there on the same key ring as my key fob and the house keys and all this other crap. My daughter's keys are all on that key fob that she carries, it's, or that key ring like that big. She now has to have all that crap hanging off of her... Th Really? Really? I mean, seriously? Ranger? Ford? You, you couldn't give us a, a push-button start on the XLT? That could very well be a game-changer and take that truck right out of my lineup. I mean, that's how bad it is. And I'm sure not paying the money. Um, let's say, for example, the XLT here, you're at 43 k Okay, for an XLT FX4, you're at 43000 if they want me to jump to Lariat for say forty, uh, say forty six thousand to get this in the leather seats, they can kiss my butt because I'll go to the ZR2 Colorado and get full front and rear lockers, great interior, push button start, push button, re you know where I can just touch the handle and because it, it senses my key fob, it opens for my wife. She doesn't have to even worry about it in dark parking lot. She walks to her car, opens the door, gets right in, push the button, she's gone. When she gets out, she closes it, touch the thing, it locks. Life is good, okay? But for this, I'll go to a ZR2. I can get it for like, uh, what, what you know, like 48. I think it's like 47 something, but let's call it 48. So for two grand more, I can go to a full ZR2. Excellent. Ford screwed themselves on this one. They made that's that's huge. This is absolutely huge that they failed at that. I, I cannot understand that in 2024 how we could be dealing with such BS. And it's just ridiculous. So they bombed big time. Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. This one's getting really hard to find problems with it. Okay, it really is. It's getting real hard. There's two of them that concern me. One, no LED option. Really? Not even an option? Okay, maybe you want to have it on the Z71 and the ZR2 has them and all this stuff and that's great, but you don't even give us an option to put them on there, yet you make them for all the other, other models of this, but we don't get the option at all. But it's an easy fix because I can put aftermarket ones in. Okay, it's so what I had to do on my Tacoma because it didn't come with them. It's so what I had to do on my Ram 2500 because it didn't come with them. It's so what I had to do on a lot of vehicles because they don't come with LEDs. But LEDs, you can buy them for pretty cheap. Uh, they last pretty well. They work pretty good. I'm happy with them. So for me, like I said, not a major thing. The other concern I have is they have now introduced terrain mode. Okay, so it's terrain. These off-road modes. Okay, so we got terrain and off-road. Okay, these are algorithm algorithm modes in here now they say they do enhance off-road traction control i am hoping that this is a version of a um electric um oh electric lsd limited slip differential in the front wheels so basically when you have a, your four wheel drive you only have one wheel that actually spins and i've done videos on this but whatever wheel is going to break free and spin on you that gets all the power and computer-controlled algorithm 
in many, like Ford has their modes, Toyota has its MTS, uh, Ford I think calls them GOAT modes, but you have these modes in there where when the computer senses that this wheel in the front is spinning, it will apply the brakes to slow this down and transfer energy to the other one, so now this one can, and it can, climb, even though this one's still spinning, this one can get enough power to get you out of your hole. Uh, so you actually get good four wheel drive function in the front end, uh, and I'm hoping that these terrain modes do that. No video, this truck has been out for months, no video is talking about it and giving me this actually, you know, if it actually is an electronic LSD mode in that. Nobody will tell me that. Nobody's tested it. Nobody's shown anything. I call the dealers. They can't answer that question honestly for me. Um, so, like I said, we don't actually know this answer. But because they did offer a terrain mode and an off-road mode, then they got the tow haul and they got the normal. I'm hoping that these one of these two modes offers electronic LSD. And I believe it's going to. I just think people don't know enough or care enough to look for it but i'll bet when i get my hands on one that that's a reality that we can find out so that's my plan there so i think that'll be okay um so that's why it's in green i don't think it's going to be a problem but it's a concern in my head the tacoma 2024 tacoma's coming out and they you know they cannot fix the four-wheel drive engagement system okay and i know they can't cause they didn't fix it on the 2024 or 2022, 2023. None of the Tundras have been fixed with this yet either. Okay, but trying to get this thing in. Okay, and we're good. And if we put it back on, lock her back on. See it blinking at me? If I was stuck in a hole, I'm just going to sit here and it's going to be a problem. Okay, and then if I go, see it's still not engaging. Still not engaging. And I'm, I'm you know, like I said, if I was stuck. I'd be in a world of hurt. I'm still not engaging that locker. Look how far forward we're going. And we're still, oh, no, still not in locking. I'm even trying to spin the wheels. We still have not engaged that locker. It's still not engaged. Let's try reverse and see, can we get it to go in there? This is what you deal with a lot with a Toyota. It's, it's upsetting with the technology and the capabilities and what a wonderful off-road system Toyota has. And their amazing brake lock differential uh, or uh, brake, uh, brake differential lock computer control they have. All this stuff and I can't, look at this. Oh, finally, we got the locker to kick in. The four low is a series of rock and bouncing and playing trying to get your rear locker to engage. You gotta turn the wheel right, turn it left, pull forward, back up and reverse, get it this way. If you're on a hill, it won't do it. If you're on a hill this way, it won't do it. Your hip tipped up, it won't do it. The engagement of the rear locker is horrible. Okay, it is straight up horrible. The engagement of four low, very hard. On both of these vehicles, beep, touch the button, even while you're parked still, boop, there it is, it's in. Just like that, okay? Button flash, button flash, locked. You're done. It's that easy. Okay, button flash, button flash, four low. You're there. Okay, without even moving the vehicle. Both of these will do that. Toyota parked four low. Sits here. It annoyingly flashes at you. Okay, you can't do nothing. You're in neutral too. You got to be in neutral for it to shift, so you can't do nothing. Okay, flashes at you. Then finally it'll like go, oh, and then it clicks. Okay, now you got four low. Okay, try and engage the locker. Flashes at you, locker, just flashes at you, put it in drive, pull forward, flashes at you, put it in reverse, go backwards, it flashes at you. Can you turn the wheel this way, flashes at you, turn the wheel that way, oh, oh, there it went, now it's in. Um, so their four-wheel drive engagement system straight up sucks on Toyota. The four-wheel drive system is amazing, especially with its electronic limited slip differentials control MTS system, but engagement is the worst. And it's been out... You know, this version of it has been out since 2016. You know, you're pushing eight years of this, and we've had to deal with this. There's people even trying to switch out transfer cases uh, to the FJ Cruiser and things like that and trying to do all kinds of stuff to get it to work better. It's horrible. Okay, so that's a, you know, why couldn't they fix that? It's 2024, new system, new trans, new motors, new everything. Make the four-wheel drive work. Okay, stupid that they don't give you that, that that's not an option. So that's my rant. Those are the dumb things on the 2024 midsiders uh, that we're going to be dealing with right now. And hopefully one of these guys watches, like Ford, before it comes out, before you even come out with your new Ranger. You know, it's in pre-production right now. Fix this, and you might be on my list. Because right now, this one is winning hands down for me. And I'm buying in one year from now. 
And this is winning hands down. But if they would just fix this, this one now would be a very serious contender. This one is just out. They bombed on a new 2024 for my personal needs, what I want it to do. But Ranger, you don't fix this, you don't fix that and get rid of that stupid key and make that push button start, you're out too, you're gone. And that leaves me no choice. It's right there, problem solved. So, and this one is actually 3K cheaper, so you might get lot left in the wood in the dark anyway. So we'll see. Um, so, and we get 32s. I, I could go on lists all over the place. I did another video on that too. I'll probably link below for you. But, so things to think about, dumb stuff that they're doing in 2024. Thanks for watching.